Okay, I just got back from a trip. I haven't seen Ava in a while. I'm gonna see what her reaction is to me. Hi, Ava! Yeah. Come on. Good girl. That was cool. Wanna come hang out in the grass? Want me to stop it? Um, yeah. Now a huge part of free flying your bird is actually having a great relationship and bond with your bird, which is often achieved through the process of flight training. But I think that a lot of people forget to put emphasis on that. And so I'm not just flight training Ava. I'm also just spending awesome quality time hanging out with her and just learning to get to know each other outside of training as well. <laughs> what are you doing? You can play with her with a piece of glass. What are you doing? You want to come down here? <laughs> oh, I get it at the tail. Ah! Do you want to fly more? Cute. Do you want to fly more? Really the hard part's done because the hard part was the diet conversion and now that I've converted her diet, she is the biggest foodie. In the very beginning, I was always worried about her eating and she's such a great eater now, which is really exciting, which has really upped the treat value for her. So those of you that are thinking, my bird's not food motivated, it's probably because it's not on the proper diet. So check into my seasonal feeding system and my organic pellets. So it's really the optimal diet for every parrot species out there, except for obviously like a lorry lorikeet that's nectar based. Okay, so Ava's done fine with the shower, but she's not as great with the spray bottle. Good girl. Yeah. Good girl. Good job. So I originally started spraying her. She was like around here and she retreated all the way over there. I started trying to like spray her while she was sitting there. Reward for fluffing up. You want to try again? Good girl. That was the first time she's actually like come over to me with the spray bottle. Pretty huge. I think now she understands it's a training session. Good girl. Pine nuts are her favorite and I'm giving her two every time. Good job. Don't eat. <laughs> you tried to grab my hand and keep it there. Okay. No, what's that water doing? What is that water doing? Hey, don't leave. Don't leave. Good girl. You did super well. Can you try again? Good girl. You're hanging out. This is so impressive. Hey, 
You're doing so good. Super great. Great bath training session. And I pushed her way harder than I think I normally push birds with bathing. Normally it's really small sprays, really high reward. And with her, it was a lot of spraying and high reward. So she let me get away with a lot. And I know she's not scared of water because she had such a good response in the shower. I think it's maybe just something about the act of the spray bottle. So yeah. Are you helpful? You helpful, Barry? Ava! Come on! Yay! Yay! So my main workings with Ava are to try to see if she will fly to different areas of my house. I know that she'll fly to that corner of the kitchen, but will she fly in other directions? Where can I push her? Where can I not? So you'll see in this training session, I do run into some snags where she just doesn't want to fly to me and I try getting closer and it just doesn't work. And so I do try changing directions and that seems to work. If anything, I can always end on a flight to the corner of the kitchen, it seems. Oh my gosh, she's so cute and fluffy. Just bring her inside and she's so happy and she's doing baby wing twitches and she's so cute. How are you that cute? How are you so awesome? Do you even know? Do you even know how awesome you are, Ava? <laughs> okay, I just got back from a trip. We were at master classes. I haven't seen Ava in a while. And I'm so excited to see her. We just got back, so. Gonna see what her reaction is to me. I miss her so much. Hi, Ava. What are you doing, girl? What are you doing? Hi. What's going on, you fluffy head? Hi. Do you wanna hang out? Can I hold you? Oh my goodness. Oh, hi. I missed you. I missed you. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Let's go hang out. What you been doing? You got a little foot up in the air. Oh my goodness. I missed you. I missed you a lot and I'm leaving again. I'm only home for like a day and a half. So I get to love on you for a day and a half. What a sweet welcome back home. I'm getting baby wing flaps. So sweet. I'm gonna hang out in the sunshine, in the fresh air. <laughs> she like was resistant to let go. <laughs> I want to hang out with you too, but I gotta unpack. Gotta eat something. You deserve to be outside because you haven't been since I left. And we'll hang out all night, all day, all night. Look at her little foot. I'll come get you in a little bit. So I brought Ava in the house. Since being gone, and she's definitely in the mood to fly. Eva! Good girl. Eva! Oh, she keeps walking and traveling a little closer before she flies. <laughs> good girl. Oh, good girl! You didn't travel that time. You get three pine nuts for that. Come on, girl. Good! Good job. I am going to have you fly the other direction. Ready? Eva. Good girl. Eva. Good. Come on, fly from there. Good girl. It's amazing. 
amazing what a few days of not seeing me will do. Can you fly from down below? Good girl. She actually flew like she jumped up and then over to get herself out of that situation. She had stuff touching her tail and all around her. Are you tired? <laughs> Little bit tired. Eva. Good girl. Do you think you could go a little bit further? I think you can fly farther. You wanna try? Yes! It's the furthest flight I think she's done. Can you do it again? It's a lot to ask. Eva! Good girl. Come on, girl! You can do it. Good girl. We're definitely stopping on that one. So good to be home. So good to be home with you. <laughs> it's too hot to fly outside today. <laughs>